Hello, this is John Garvin, and I am doing an unboxing video for the second edition of Tim Weston's original art series on Karl Barks' original art, where he basically takes from the masters um, and reprints the artwork exactly the same size that Barks drew it. So, first thing I notice, it comes really well packaged. And the book itself comes in a sturdy container. So if you don't have room to put it on your bookshelf, you can keep it in pristine mint condition uh, in these really nice heavy storage container. And here it is. Kind of a crazy book size, right? I mean, this is... This is, um, this is massive. It's like, wow. It's like, that's incredible. Love the cover. And again, this is all from the work Barks did for MGM and Dell Comics. This is not the Disney material. Um, presumably because Weston doesn't have a license for it. But also, he doesn't have the Masters. So, this is, you know, it still gives you a really, really clear idea of... Sparks is ink work, which in my mind is the whole point of having this collection. It allows you to really get in and see, really up close and personal, exactly how Barks drew these lines. And it comes in a resealable plastic sleeve, which honestly I probably won't keep because it's a pain to get it in and out. Very nice. Wasn't expecting any color, so that's a nice surprise. Introduction, I'll read later. And yeah, this is just this is just really nice. I mean look look at the size of this art. This is exactly the same size that Barks drew this um, way back in the 40s and 50s. And you can almost smell the India ink coming off these pages. Reproduction is just crisp. Blacks are very, very black. So yeah, this is uh, an amazing book. And just to give you an idea of how big this is compared to the other original art books, here's, here's some comparisons. This is the uh, Jack Kirby book, which is also a really nice book. Um, but I'd say the Karl Barks book is at least twice again as big. Here's the uh, Bone book. Again, super nice book. Here's the Uncle Scrooge book by Don Rosa, which is bigger than, than some of the others, but again, not nearly as big as, as the uh, Carl Barks book. And then here's the first edition of the Carl Barks original art edition. So, again, it's pretty big. And in this one, he had to print some of the stories sort of uh, horizontally like this in order to get the right size. Um, but with the with this new edition, he's able to do it um, without having to turn the without having to turn the book sideways. So yeah, like I said, this is just a great book, must have if you're a Karl Barks collector or a fan of original art or a fan of art and storytelling from the 1940s and 50s. So good job, Kim.